Raiders. The Raiders. They're 0 and 3. They dealt away Khalil Mack. They're heading to Vegas. Their head coach is going to make 100 million dollars over the next 10 years. Ooh. Marty, uh, this, this is what you tweeted about about Chucky here. Uh, John Gruden is going to lose the team if he hasn't already. It'll be a long season for Raider fans. If that happens, I feel like Raider fans are just always turned in the black hole no matter what. So does it even matter like if they're going to be 3-13 and 13 before heading off to Vegas? Well, there's several things that's happening. First, the team is leaving, right? And then they're still watching the game. They're still fans. And then you deprive them of their top player, right? You trade the star player on the team. And then you go out there and you go 0-3 on a team that's supposed to have a high. Sure, it's Gruden's big comeback. Isn't yeah, it? not even him. The team was good yeah. the last couple of years. They played well. So you go out there and you lose these Marshawn games. Marshawn Lynch is back. Yeah, there's excitement around. you have all this excitement. Yeah. And then you go out there with this dud. So not only are you losing the fans and the city that you once belonged to, but the players on the team that has been there for a while and they know how things work and how things go, you start to lose those guys too because mm-hmm. it's like, man, fuck. And then every single week he's on there like, oh, we got to get a pass rush. We got to get a pass rush. Hey, you know, it's hard to find guys that can rush the passer. Yeah, they, when you get guys who can rush the passer, you pay them. You pay them motherfuckers that can rush the passer. <laughs> yeah. And then you look at the Bears, who are 2-1, and one, almost 3-0 and oh right now, and they lead the NFL in sacks. There you go. Khalil Mack. That says it all. Oh, we got to find a pass rusher. <laughs> Let's find a pass rusher. Hey, somebody get Gruden some glasses. He's looking for a pass rusher, and one was right in his fucking lap. Sometimes the greatest things in life are right in front of you, but you cannot see it because you see yourself Egos in a way. <laughs> you play for an organization like the New York Giants, Super Bowl caliber. You play for the Oakland Raiders. What's the biggest difference organizationally between mm. those two teams? Uh, it's it's it was a difference. Um, I th- the Giants were very crisp. Yes. You know, it's it's what you see is what you get. There's a demand. There's an expectation there. Um, there's an expectation in Oakland too, but there's a different aura and feel and um, type of reverence there. And I mean, Oakland. Obviously, like you said, they're leaving. You know, I like this right now, this narrative, because the conversation is you pay $100 million to a coach. You pay $100 million to a player. One is fully guaranteed as one is not. But one's absence is really showing a huge difference. Yeah, no, I like seeing Gruden 0-3 with his back against the wall. Now, you got out oh. that comfy Monday Night Football booth after all these years. All right, you're 0-3. Right. Come on up. He ain't coaching a decade. It's different. Yeah, coaches, it's different lose, coaches lose games. Players win games. Okay. All right. I go. I, all right. I, I go for it. Anytime, like, anytime the right. players is I like got the, the good side. The players <laughs> win the yeah. game and coaches lose game. Coaches mishandle clock management. Actually, nowadays teams win games and quarterbacks lose games is how the narrative is. On I think on a lot of media too. They just do that because of the money. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, the guarantee so we'll money is what we'll the coach. We'll see how they bounce back. They're definitely in a hole for sure.